So you spoke about an experience that you had uh, in the forest in one of your books as an enlightening experience uh, when you were going through a heartbreak. Um, what mm. advice have you got for people that try and recreate enlightening experiences, that, that desire to want that um, experience again, addiction? Another good question because we tend to do that if we have a powerful experience. Maybe it's the first good sex we ever have. Mm -hmm. We want to recapture that. And or uh, the, the, somebody takes LSD and they want to go back and get that again. Or whatever the experience is. And uh, newsflash, it's the first one's special. It's the first. Um, and there may be other satisfying experiences but pursuing it may be problematic to try to recreate it. We're living in the past. Mm. Um, it's a preview of coming attractions. And the experience I described, that I was in a relationship, a lot of, you know, you can get a lot of pain in a, a painful relationship. It's very difficult, one of the most difficult emotional uh, pains people can have in a very troubled relationship, jealousy and so on. Um, a lot's tied to it, our sense of self. Mm. Um, and yeah, that, that did happen just as I described it. There was a reversal in consciousness. Suddenly I was just so profoundly happy, uh, blissful. I, I, I was liberated. I was still feeling all the emotions, but it, it had no power over me anymore. Mm. And that's the only way I can describe it. But my experiences are less important than yours. We have all had enlightened moments mm. of transcendence. Mm. 